going on, everybody? DJ Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel. Find some news, man. Find some news, back. Today, new mods are back. And we got a handful of modders to talk about. And it's no script day. So let's have a little bit of fun. So today, we had 18 mods release on the end game mod hub. All platforms got two new and 11 updates. Uh, current gen got one update. And as far as PC players, you guys got three new and one update. I would have to say, definitely, the big mods today were the new map delusion for all platforms, the update to the Reaper 2000 Harvester, which will go 50 miles an hour now, and a small update to the 2150 early riser planters. I've also already made a video showing these up, so if you want to check that out, it's linked down below. And of course, as I'm recording this, Mr. Kerman has released the testing list. The first one of the year. Sweet. Today we get 76 mods on said list. 75 of those are in PC or stage one and one's in console testing. However, because it's beginning of the year, it's pretty much starting over. Some notable mods on the list today. The American Ranch Gate entrance is definitely catching my eye. As well as three Case IH mods. The 49 Blade, the 1830, and the 956. We've also got FOV control, which you could do in easy dev, but I'm interested to see what this is going to be. Homebrew Productions. Clutch, did you get involved in modding? Of course, A-Dub Modding's got his horse seed shuttle in there. John Deere Barrel Spear Pack. An update to the Maverick X3 and the Road Rage. A couple Massey mods as well, like the 11, the 30, 4700, 5700, and 23. Road to Flail Forge Harvester, as well as the Silo Special. Ooh. And down at the bottom in console testing, we have the Watering Cans Pack. With all that being said, we still have 237 mods sitting waiting to be tested. Uh, color? Kermit, what'd you do? And uh, current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is 23 work days, but that'll probably go down the more they test. And if you want to see the GIF, here it is. Super cute. That's it for new and update mods, so let's jump over to modern news and we start with some money we haven't talked about in a while. BC Bueller Farms! He says he's working on his next quick project. He said quick in quotations overhauling his farms of 19 mod the versatile four wheel drive and delta track tractors he's bringing them over to fs22 right now he's working on some textures before doing some re-scripting and things like that so that it's all platform ready it's also we're gonna have a lot more options than the farms of 19 version as well which i'm very excited about next custom modding have a little teaser for us they say that the balzer is almost ready to go good news they're also still working on the case ih steiger next gen projects that's at uh, 715 i believe of course still working on the 9R, the 9RX, and the 9RT mods. They've got their maps, but I'm pretty sure those are just PC only. Semi-trailer, wasn't aware of that one. And John Deere Ru R O U. Now I did a little bit of work on Google and John Deere Round Baylor keeps popping up. There's also a couple other things like rough mower, things like that, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna work on a Baylor, but I don't think they've ever done a Baylor before. This will be fun to see. Ada Modding's also been a busy bee. He's got two more horse planters. We have a 12 meter version and then we have the 18 meter version. If you played the horse mods back in 17 and 19, these may look familiar to you. Oh, he's also got a modded version of the Horse Titan 34 UW. This thing's insane. Look at this. So it's the horse auger wagon that we're all used to seeing. However, he's thrown on some extra configurations for capacity, it looks like. And then we also have main color, design color, and rim color. You can make this whatever you want. We also have some good news from Gamer Designs. This chipper is being worked on right now, and it's being tested by some of his closest friends. That's super exciting because I know he was having trouble getting it in game. He's also got another mod fully animated. I've been hiding it here. Look at this. So this is going to work with his wood chip trailer, uh, the Pitts wood chip trailer. You pull your truck up there, or back it in rather, and then it kind of dumps it up. It just looks so cool. We've even got animations here. We've got an old, uh, we'll say old, that looks like Windows 11 or Windows 10 maybe on there. It's a pretty advanced operating system for a machine like this. That is super cool, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be really happy to see this. We do have one or two mods kind of like this in game already, but... Nothing from gamer design, so I'll take it. Next, we got Bullet Bill. This topic's a few days old, but I wasn't able to get it in a video on Wednesday, so here we are. So this is a 3D model that he's been working on over the past couple weeks, at least the end of 2023. It's a replica of an SRESSO petrol station located in the city of Hereford, which he used as reference to make the models. He says he feels much happier now that there's a proper UK petrol station model to use on his map, something that he says has been missing for farming simulator. And I don't know if I agree or not, but I will say it looks awesome. It's nice to see a lot of detail going into a map like this, especially just for the outside of the UK countryside, as he says. Uh, but I will say I'm kind of ready to see Herefordshire. <laughs> Let's go. Next up from Celebuki, we have a couple more items that he's adding to his traveling Bosnia map. Here we can see some, a well, possibly. We've got a place to stack wood and nice little area 
through their church, some housing, uh, or maybe a production point, perhaps, uh, and then back where we started. He's also added this, water puddles to the road after it rains. He's been messing with roads a lot recently, so this is very, very cool to see this. Also, 108 FPS, very nice. We've also got a very recent update from Mr. Hector Mods of Corp Hathi and Countryside. This is for all platforms. This will be version 1.1, no new game save required. We've talked about that, what, I feel like a hundred times now. I does say also an update, 1.2 for the Lizard Cow Barn, standalone placeable cow barns mod for maps and all platforms. This has been added to both versions of the map, so that's going to be the PC only version as well as the crossplay version. This was something he submitted to Mod Hub over the holiday break, so maybe a little while before we see it, but it looks like mods are kind of kicking back up. So hopefully we see the same kind of attention to mods paid uh, over the next, well, years uh, that we did right before Christmas. Oh, and manure system's been added to the PC only version. So that looks pretty cool. Oh, and some little adjustments here. There's some icicles. He's also adding that to the map as well. It looks so cool. Next to last today, we get to talk about Dusty Dave and a look at one of the new farms on Bessie Beneath. This is Pinheskin. I don't know how to say that. Is that how you say Penheskin? I'm not sure. It's such a beautiful map. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, this is a sheep farm. Comes with a shed for the sheep and a separate pasture altogether, so you can have them there too. This will definitely play into the hands of realism, things like that. There will also be another sheep farm that'll be on the map too, but he hasn't revealed that one yet. And lastly today, let's talk about Lancy Boy, who says that he's decided he's going to put farming in Wisconsin map on hold. There's a couple grammatical errors here, but I think it what he's saying is that he wants to know when the next farming simulator is going to be out and what's involved with that game and he doesn't want to have to change a whole lot i thought this was a map that was supposed to be for farming simulator 22 which we've had out now for over two years but uh, maybe this was a map he planned on getting in the next game all along who knows? But what I do know is just like every episode of Farm, some news links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. There are no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something you want to know about, that just simply means there's probably no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. Of course, I can't hit every single topic in the world of Farming Simulator here, but try and get the top ones. If there is something else you would like to see covered in a future Farm Some News video, please let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it. Not the most normal Farm Some News video out there, but hey, it's a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way you never miss any of the fun videos that we're putting out here on the channel. All being said, just hope you have a great day and a great weekend, and we will see you later. Man, I really enjoy doing some of these no script videos with the camera up in the corner. It's all like, woo, check this out. All oh, this is super cool. Instead of DJ Goham really likes this a lot. He really likes this a lot. Yeah.